Hey guys, Davin Lim, dermatologist. So you'd like to know more about natural treatments for melasma. Ordinarily, I would not do this. The reason being is that I'm medical and not a naturopath. However, I think it's important that as a dermatologist, we do summarize what can be done for DIY treatments that may be safe. Effective is totally different, but safe. But also what's out in the literature when it comes to natural treatments. So here's the go. First and foremost is sun protection. That is the cornerstone of management. But when it comes to natural remedies or supplementation, what else can we use? The most amount of studies is with, of course, vitamin C. Vitamin C is also known as l ascorbic acid. And what it does is that it can inhibit the pigment cell, in other words, your melanocyte, to produce less pigment. It can also be in addition to your neocollagenesis, in other words, your collagen stimulating potential of the dermal layer of your skin. And what it does is that once you strengthen the actual uh, dermal layer, you can improve some, but not all cases of melasma. So vitamin C by far is the number one. The second for me topically is azelaic acid. Azelaic acid is a naturally sourced acid. It's safe. It can be used in pregnancy and breastfeeding. It's that safe. The concentrations vary between 10 to 20%. In the scheme of things, it is a very weak pigment inhibitor but because it's naturally sourced, because it's a natural compound and it's got no contraindications when it comes to things like pregnancy or lactation, plus the fact it's very well tolerated and non-inflammatory, unlike your other chemicals, this can be recommended as well. Then we can look at things like arbutin. Arbutin can be beta arbutin, which is a naturally formed compound, or an alpha arbutin, which is formed in the lab. It is also a pigment inhibitor and the concentrations vary between something like 0.1% all the way up to 2 to 3% depending on which part of the world you live with. in. Sorry, <laughs> Depending on which part of the world you live in. Now, the another, now two other compounds um, come into play. First of all, licorice root extract, which is of course natural. And the second is bearberry extract or bearberries itself. Now, when you combine all of this, you can find these chemicals in something like your meladerm, your melarase, your melacrine. In other words, a combination of things like your glycolic acids, which is your alpha hydroxy acids, natural once again, your ascorbic acid, things like your beta hydroxy acid, the salicylic acid, lab made, but it can be found in nature for, from willow bark, together with your licorice um, root extracts, as well as your bear berries. So that's a natural way to treat melasma. Now, Two other things come into play. First of all, your podophyllium, right? First of all, your polypodium. Your polypodium extract or... Uh, first of all, your polypodium. So your polypodium extract is basically found in nature. It's found through a fern, which is a plant, um, and it's found in Central and South America. What it can do is that it can help lighten skin and can act as an antioxidant in some but not all cases of pigmentation. Dermatologists have been prescribing polypodium for many years, about 25 years, and we use it for certain skin conditions like polymorphous light eruption and various idiopathic uh, phytodermatosis. But in the context of melasma, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, as well as certain other conditions, that can certainly be used as an addition or supplementation. The usual dose is 480 milligrams twice a day. Last of all, a vitamin, and this is, um, there's a lot of controversy with that, it's glucathione. Now glucathione itself works as an antioxidant, but can also shift the way the skin produces uh, pigment itself. Glucathione in the context of tablets can be used as a supplement, 250 to 500 milligrams once to twice a day. It is safe. In the context of IV glucathione, most of us don't use it because the effects are temporary. So just to summarize, guys, natural therapies are out there for melasma. The strongest level of evidence, if I can give you a hint, is probably your vitamin C together with your azelaic acid. If you want to supplement your diet, you can use things like um, polypodium and glucathione. Thanks for that.